Hello, good morning and welcome. My name is Deirdre Coyne and today I'm talking about the luck of the Irish. So happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, so 17th of March today and we're talking all about luck. So I do have 12 ways to create your own luck to share with you. But what I wanted to just discuss first is whether or not you know this phrase about the overnight success or, you know, um, Perhaps even um, if you do what it is that you love, you'll never have to work another day in your life. And while that perhaps feels nice and it's a nice way to think, is it really that case? What is it? What is luck? Is it made or is it something that um, we we do for ourselves? Because oftentimes we can think that luck is something that just happens. But actually, and this is where the overnight success, I think, comes in, is there's usually a lot of hard work and preparation and thinking that meant that we were in the right place at the right time. And from a, beha a cognitive behaviour perspective, so our thinking, you know, we're thinking about what it is we need to be in that right frame of mind. And from a behavioural perspective, we're doing the kind of things that help us to support us in working towards our goals or our dreams. So. There's a quote by Shonda Rhimes who says, I'm not lucky, do you know what I am? I'm smart, I'm talented, and I take advantage of the opportunities that come my way and I work really, really hard. So maybe that's how we create our luck. So I do have 12 ways to create your own luck with you today and I will share this um, on a post later, but number one is get absolutely clear on what it is that you really want in your life. Two, take a risk, you can make mistakes, be willing to be wrong. Three, cultivate courage, stand up and speak, follow your talents and follow through. Four is be bold, surprise yourself, do something unexpected. Five is create excellent habits that set you up for success. Six is set boundaries, say no to energy vampires, perhaps. Um, seven is stay focused, don't get distracted by shiny things. Eight is your intuition is important, so trust and act on your hunches. Nine is give a helping hand to others. 10 is no more excuses, the time is now. And then 11, develop character, radiate self-respect and approval of yourself always. And if it was to add number 12, it would be to perhaps look at luck from that perspective that yes, there is the phrase that there is the luck of the Irish, but we, we need to make our own luck. We need to make sure that we're in, from a mindset perspective, you know, I often talk about the um, Carol Dweck and the fixed mindset and the growth mindset. So being in a growth mindset is going to help us with our goals and help us to be that, to create that luck. Um, I do have just a final kind of questions for you to, to consider and perhaps journal about. But so what it is about the tips that we shared that resonates with you or some that maybe unsettle you? If it's a tip that resonates with you, then that's great. It's in your comfort zone and it's something that you can do. But if it's an area that unsettles you, and this is where it comes back to the growth mindset, it's perhaps an area for you to stretch. So maybe keep that in mind, perhaps write it out, what it is that you're noticing about unsettling. Um, be kind to yourself, just notice what it is that's come up. And then what ideas might you have from those tips about what changes you'd like to make? I hope that's helpful for those of you who have a bank holiday today. Enjoy it. Happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone. Bye for now.